Welcome to Co-op Connections, an online workshop sponsored by CDS Consulting Co-op. Thanks for joining us. October is Co-op Month, and 2012 is the United Nations International Year of the Cooperative. So in honor of those events, we gathered our fantastic panelists from last year's Co-op Connections workshop to talk some more about all the exciting things going on in the world of co-ops. As I said, we're pleased once again that this amazing collection of worldwide leaders in the co-op movement were able to be with us, and I'd like to thank all of our panelists for joining us today. I'm certainly looking forward to hearing their insights, and I'm sure you are too. So as soon as I've completed our introductions, we'll begin our roundtable discussion with our experts. Over the next hour, we hope to increase understanding of the larger world of cooperatives and why they matter, explore issues of interest to cooperative leaders, build enthusiasm for cooperatives, celebrate Co-op Month, and prepare for the 2012 United Nations International Year of the Cooperative. Now our panelists here today are Paul Hazen, President and CEO of the National Cooperative Business Association, Chuck Gould, Director General, International Cooperative Alliance, Robin Schrader, CEO, the National Cooperative Grocers Association, Stuart Reed, Executive Director of the Food Co-op Initiative, Marilyn Scholl, Manager of CDS Consulting Co-op, and Kevin Edberg, Executive Director of Cooperative Development Services. I'm, my name is Joel Kapischke. I'm a C-Build Consultant with the CDS Consulting Co-op, and I'll be the moderator today. The first question for our panel is many believe that cooperatives are a better business model. How did you personally get involved in cooperatives, and why are cooperatives important to you? Um, I got uh, my start with cooperatives when I was 12 years old. Uh, my grandfather and I had a very large garden. We got very overzealous in the planting of rutabagas one year. Uh, that fall, Grandpa sold them to the local co-op, but he sold them in my name, and I got a check for them, like 78 bucks or something. And about six months later, I got another check for 78 cents, like 1% of sales. And I didn't understand what that was at the time. I now realize that I was a patron member of a cooperative, and that was my first initiation. Today, I'm a member of a couple of different co-ops and uh, uh, am pleased to make my living helping people start cooperatives or, or expand them. Well, I have been uh, around cooperatives uh, most of my life, as, as many people have been, without always uh, being fully aware of it. Uh, I looked around at one point and, and realized, without having always been conscious of it, that uh, the mortgage I had uh, on, a, on a piece of property was through the credit union. Uh, I was buying food, groceries at the food co-op. I was getting uh, uh, electricity for a home I had in Minnesota uh, from a rural electric cooperative. So I had been involved for some time, but it was really only a year ago that I came to uh, cooperatives full-time. Uh, as uh, Director General of the International Cooperative Alliance uh, here in, uh, in Geneva, Switzerland, uh, which is the, the, the umbrella organization for cooperatives around the world. We have members in 90-plus in countries uh, around the world, and, and we represent cooperatives uh, in intergovernmental organizations like the UN and in global media uh, issues. And why they're important to me, uh, you really just have to look around. Uh, if you look at the challenges that that uh, the, most of the developed world is having today, the skepticism that people have about the the uh, the, the capital business model, the the problems we see with the financial system, and you remember back in uh, in the late '80s the problems, the challenges that central government uh, economic systems placed uh, faced. Today. There has never been a greater need for cooperatives. We have an incredible story to tell. We're an incredible alternative. We're a serious business model as an alternative to to these that are failing people around the around the world, and uh, it's essential that we tell that story. Well, I grew up on a farm, so I had cooperatives in my background as a farm kid, uh, but I. Uh, got my first job working in a co-op in 1978 at the Gordon Park Food Co-op in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And it was a traditional grocery co-op. We sold cigarettes and Twinkies and soda and beer, and, um, as well as apples and oranges and to tofu. Um, that co-op wouldn't have existed 
had the co-op not been there. That store wouldn't have existed if the co-op had not been there. The uh, brothers that had owned it previously wanted to sell it and couldn't find anyone to buy it. Their, the neighborhood wasn't very wealthy, there was no parking, and without the neighbors coming together, there just wouldn't have been a store. So that first lesson really taught me that people coming together can uh, do what needs to be done. They can provide themselves with services that private capital sometimes can't. Um, that people, uh, cooperatives make people and communities stronger. And those are lessons that have stayed with me to, these, to this day. Well, I, I grew up in a small town uh, in Wisconsin and uh, where there's a co-op on every corner of Main Street. Uh, but I didn't really realize the significance of cooperatives at that point until I um, graduated uh, 1978 from the University of Wisconsin with a degree in economics and business and went to work for a member of Congress from my home area. His name is, is Al Baldus. And, uh, went to a lot of cooperative meetings with the congressman and uh, understood that uh, these were successful businesses, whether they were farmer co-ops, electric co-ops, or credit unions, but that they also had a social purpose. And uh, that really intrigued me and uh, said, okay, here's economic success with improving the community. And uh, following his defeat in 1980 for re-election, I found myself unemployed and ended up working for a housing co-op developer uh, that was based in Madison, Wisconsin. So for me, it's uh, an opportunity to take my interest in business and economics and apply it to uh, building community, building wealth, uh, social purposes that improve people's lives and the lives of, uh, of those in our communities. Well, I got involved um, almost by accident, as I think many people do. I was in college and looking for a source of natural foods. We, my, my girlfriend at the time was vegetarian, but hadn't really developed a, any knowledge about the diet that she was uh, eating. So we started going to the Northeast Co-op, a very small store in Minneapolis that was there at that time, and uh, started volunteering, which was typical of the co-ops in that time, and got involved with the people, started finding out about the co-op community, and really fell in love with that as much as the food and, and the, the uh, lower prices that we could get. But uh, I started learning about the co-op model right from that point on and, and became involved with other co-ops, always finding that the community was what kept bringing me back, that that was really the key to the whole advantage of the co-ops for me was understanding that I was part of this bigger community that cared about the world we were in in more than just getting the cheapest price for my food. So that message was important, and as a workplace, the community also was critical to me as a place that I kept coming back to and, and looking for that uh, pl place where I could be a part of, a, of something bigger than just earning a wage and really feel good about it. I personally got involved uh, when I was involved in coffee and uh, started working for Frontier Natural Products Co-op. Uh, sourcing organic farm, farmer cooperative coffee from South America. And what really attracted me overall to the model was the mission aspect of doing business. I had come right out of college and worked in um, very much for-profit business and I just found it to be extremely refreshing to have my personal values reflected in the work that I was doing every day. <laughs> 